What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and today I have two special guests. I have my brother Joseph Alvarado who is a 19 Delta station in Vilsack, Germany and we have our good friend who's pretty much like a brother, Daniel Guerrero. He is also an 11 Charlie station in Vilsack, Germany and today's <coughs> video we're going to be going over what it's like being stationed over there in Vilsack, Germany. Going over what to expect when you first get there from OSIT or AIT, uh, what training can be like over there and just things like that in general. So without further ado, let's get to it. So uh, guys, go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves, tell them a little about you and uh, what it's like being stationed in Germany. I'll go ahead and ask questions, but uh, just keep it free flowing for now. Got it. Uh, all right, well, like you said, uh, my name is Joseph uh, Alvarado. Right now I'm a PFC, uh, obviously in Velsic, Germany. Uh, me over there, like I fucking love it, and I'm obviously a 19 Delta, and me as a driver, like that's what I do. I'm, I'm a driver. Okay, cool. And then Daniel, what do you do? I am a gunner, at 11 Charlie mortar. You know how it is. You know, just uh, hanging rounds. All right, okay. That's pretty much it. All right, so there's their introduction, guys. So first question: uh, What was it like first getting uh, told you were going to be stationed in Germany? Like, what did you guys think when they told you, like, you got your orders, like, hey, you're going to Germany? What were your first thoughts? Uh, me personally, I was so fucking stoked. I was like, fuck yes, because I've always lived in Texas all my life. I was like, no, I want to get out, I want to see somewhere. Me personally, I, I love that that they gave me that. All right, what about you, Daniel? I thought I was just going to be partying all the time because that, that's what I was told that I was going to be over there in Germany, but <laughs> when I got there, totally different, like, I don't know, it was just... How so? How is it different from your expectations of partying? So, I, well, when I got there, there was, like, no barracks parties, no nothing, my, I guess you could say the, my company I was in, like, wasn't really a... Like they didn't really party much. It, it was it was a big shock to me. I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, so it's different from what you expect. Yeah. Initially. Yeah. All right. So next question is, what was it like actually getting there? Like you get there, you're in processing, like meeting everybody for the first time. Like were you guys nervous? Like how was it? Do you guys have any funny stories or just like stories in general of how that initial process of getting to Germany was like? All right. Well, mine might take a while to take a short version. Short version. Well, basically. I got there and I was kind of nervous because I didn't have a, a sponsor and nobody knew I existed over there. So you were just kind of in limbo? I was in limbo for like two months not doing nothing. Okay, so make sure you guys like talk to the right people when you get there. That way you can be put in the actual company you're supposed to be put in. Uh, what about you, Daniel? Okay, so from the plane ride to Germany, um, we had, there was a delay in the plane. So when we got, I had flown into Amsterdam, when I got to Amsterdam, the plane to um, Nuremberg, which is a, a little city we were supposed to go to, that was delayed as well. So we got to sp we got to spend a whole night and like in Amsterdam, and I just blew a lot of my basic money there, and it was a big mistake. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what the red light is, <laughs> the red light, guys. Yeah. You, you guys don't, will find out. Don't do it. Don't, don't, Daniel don't. says Half don't. My do paycheck it. went to that. Damn, don't do it guys. But uh, yeah, so that's just what getting to Germany is like, right? So now, uh, for the people that may be wondering, how is it like being stationed in Germany? Do you guys like it? Like what are some of the cool things they can do? Like what is your favorite part about being in Germany? What, what, what do you like? What do you dislike? It, like just summarized. All right, me personally, I, I love it there. I, honestly, so far for right now, I wouldn't change it for like anything right now. And all of the things that you can do, honestly, it's just so limitless. Like there's so many things that you can do well, like on four days and like like just weekends in general because there's castles nearby and everything and it's just like right there so many things to do okay what about you daniel uh for me germany is big culture shock um also the i don't really go out to like to explore the cities but i know i, I should because i have a year and a half left but I don't know, it's just... So you just say it was different from your yeah. hometown in Texas? Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. Uh, How is the weather over there in Germany? Like, what's it like? What's training in that weather like? So initially, what's it like and what's training like in that weather? Like, how does it change? Me, for, uh, well, it's, but honestly, it changes, like, pretty random sometimes, but once it gets co to closer to the colder season, it gets cold as shit. And being in Texas all my life, it, I was slapped in the fucking face. Mm -hmm. It's just cold, man. 
Right, what about you, Daniel? Yeah, definitely switching it from down here in South Texas to def to Germany. Definitely a big change. Like when I left, it was in the twenties, and it was like a big shock to me because like my body was not used to it, and it was just it was pissing me off basically. <laughs> Would you guys say you're used to it now? No, God no, definitely yeah. not. No. Yeah, <laughs> same thing with Korea, guys. Like I did not get used to that cold weather like at all. It sucked all the way through. Uh, but who knows, maybe you guys will adapt to it. Comment down below if you're used to the cold, yes or no. And uh, next question is, uh, how's training over there like? Like, what's uh, what's the day-to-day -day for you guys? Like our day-to-day -day is pretty boring because, like me, I'm a driver, so I literally just go to the motor pool and work on my truck. And then, but like when we do our training events, when we're scheduled, as in like we just uh, recently got back from home, fellas, our main training event. And that, me personally, I fucking loved it. I I, I love anything that deals with field. Uh, okay. And uh, how was the, the weather, like the environment, like training in that environment? For that, it was bad. It, it, it wasn't that bad last year, but this year it was kind of decent, I guess. But it was still grimy, still slippery-ass mud, and you bust your ass, I guarantee you. And it's just raining all the time. All right. Yeah, what about you, Daniel? Well, for me, during the training, I know we went to we went to Hohenfels in October. It's That's when it was, like, the hottest it's been in Germany. It was, like, 105, I think, Jeez. around 110. Yeah. And we were, one of the missions was headed up a mountain, and we had, like, two heat cats, so we had to stop the entire mission, and Damn. we had to restart. It was just hot as balls that day. It sucked. I bet, dude. That sounds like it definitely sucks. Sounds like it could be, like, either or. Like, it can be really hot in yeah. the, the summertime yes. and then really cold in the wintertime. Yeah. So that's something to look forward to, you guys. Uh, so just a couple more questions. Uh, I know I already asked, like, what were some of the fun things to do there? But, like, uh, what would you recommend to people? Like, what should they go try in Germany? Like, you know, if they have free time in the barracks, like, they just like, on the weekends, like, where should they go? What should they do? Uh, well, like, so, like, a little bit of everything. Don't hold back. Like, I know there's a red light district, the white light district, you know, like, <laughs> What, what should the party animals do? What should the people that want to, like, explore and travel do? You know, things like that. All right. Well, I'm not much of a partier over there, but I'll, I guess I'll do more travel. Uh, literally go to every single little village that's there. But a couple ones that I recommend, both for party and travel, is this place called Cologne in Germany. It's very nice, and it's a little, a little pricey, but trust me, the experience there is amazing. Okay. Also, Prague, Italy... <laughs> It's a uh, like literally like four hour, four to five hour drive. It it's awesome there. It's super nice. Uh, they they understand that you, uh, you guys speak English, so they'll help you out. And there's like a bunch of places that I can list, but like I'm not trying to make a thirty minute video. Okay, well there you guys go. That's some of the stuff you can do uh, for traveling wise. And Daniel, what about you? Well, uh, the first night that I showed up in Germany, I was asked by one of my specialists to go out, and there's this place called Amberg. It's right out, um, about 30 oh. minutes, 30 minute drive. Oh. I went to a couple bars there and I got super wasted. It's called, um, <clears throat> one of them is called Queens. Oh. That, that place is, <laughs> is all right. But if you keep going out, there's a town or a city, small city called Nuremberg. That's where like two of the most popping clubs are at. It's called Resi and um, The One, I think. Those are pretty. Those are pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, that's definitely insightful, guys. So you got the traveling aspect right there. You got the partying aspect right there. Uh, guys, also comment down below what other questions you have about Germany, and I can send them to Joseph and Daniel in the future. Uh, you guys can also hit them up on their Instagrams or myself. Right. Uh, mine is at Ben underscore Allen one seven five. It's in the description box below. My brother's is uh, Joseph underscore A L V A. Yeah, so Joseph underscore Alva, and then Daniel's is... Mine's Kid, double D, underscore, trippy, 97. There you go, guys. And you can hit them up, ask them any question about Germany, what it's like. Uh, and then, yeah, so last question, I guess, would be uh, if you have any advice for somebody who's nervous about going to Germany or, you know, just never been overseas before or is going to be stationed there, like, what would you tell them? Like, what would you say to the person? Like, oh, I have no idea what it's going to be like. I'm scared. Like, I've never done something like this before. Like, just to calm them down. One thing that really helped me, because I've never, I've never been on like a plane. I, I know for a fact that there's probably going to be some other military there flying out with y'all. I don't care if you don't know him or not, or know him or her, but get with them and just like talk with them because like that that helped me out like a lot. Like I was super nervous, sketched out, and like didn't didn't want to miss my flight or anything. But I was talking to my buddy with basic, and it was really soothing knowing that hey, we're we're in this together. And he's never been there either, so we, we got to share that and, like, talk about how, well, like, just to get our minds off things. And that really calmed me down. Okay. What about you, Daniel? Well, for me, um, 
when I was getting on the plane to Germany, I didn't really feel like I was actually going to Germany. I thought I was actually just going to another city, like still in the United States. And I didn't really get a big shock of like, oh, I'm going to another country. But a good advice would just be stay with your, your battles, your battle buddy. And that'll just help you like keep calm throughout the flight and going into another country. Okay, and then actually getting there? I guess I honestly that will also kind of be with that like but but me it was kind of different because I didn't have a sponsor so nobody knew I was there so like I I like nobody picked me up nobody I I, I couldn't do anything so I was tripping out so I basically had to figure it out on my own to be honest which you're gonna have to do most times yes. in the army but if you have a sponsor don't like don't be afraid to blow up their phone like. If they're not responding, yeah. call them. Ask them questions. Ask them, like, where are they at? Where do they got to be? Like, what time? Like, like that's their job is yes. to give you the information. Yeah, right? and, like, you, like you, if you have that sponsor, good on you. And, like, just keep on that because that's a very big deal. And then you? Uh, when I got there, I didn't have, uh, like, a specific sponsor for me, but there was other sponsors for my other, like, battle buddies. So I was just, I was told to go with them. And then once I got to the actual unit, then they, like, distributed me out to a different sponsor but i mean it's i don't, I don't it's know it's pretty simple yeah. if you follow the directions but uh yeah guys so that's pretty much you know germany in a nutshell if you think we missed something comment down below uh if you've been there comment your experiences help these new guys that are going to be going over there out you know give them as much information as possible again for those of you that are watching subscribe to the channel right now turn on that bell notification that way you guys can stay up to date whenever we drop new videos right we post comedic sketches uh, funny reaction videos and informative videos such as this one and uh, it's gonna be a good time and you'll be immediately notified whenever those videos go live by turning on that bell uh, again, follow our Instagrams down in the description box below. Um, it would mean a lot. And also, you know, just comment what you're most excited for about the military or going overseas to another country. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We really appreciate it. If you want to see any videos uh, talking about Korea and what that was like uh, being stationed over there, feel free to hit them up. Uh, I'll post it right here and here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Later. Boom.